as I was preparing for this Sunday, I read this scripture and I knew I needed to preach on this topic. As I write this today, COVID-19 numbers are fairly terrible. Oklahoma is the number four state in the nation in, in infection rates based on population. Our numbers in Oklahoma yesterday and the day before have been 1,900 plus respectively. Garfield County has over 1,300 cases and we are gaining more than 100 a week. This is profoundly troubling for most of our congregation and let's be frank, it's scary. We cannot see this enemy. We often cannot see who is sick and who is not. So how would we even know if we're in a situation where we're at risk? As I said, it is a challenging time. However, this is not the first time the world has gone through something like this. It's not the first time that God's people have been challenged in a similar way. So listen to these words from the book of Exodus, and may God's word offer you comfort today. And the whole congregation of the people of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the people of Israel said, Would that we had died at the hand of our Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the meat pots and ate bread to, the, to be full. For you have brought us into the wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. And then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am about to rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather the day's portion every day, that I may test them whether they will walk in my law or not. On the sixth day, when they prepared what they had brought in, it will be twice as much as they gather any other day. So Moses and Aaron went to the people of Israel and said, At evening you shall know that the Lord has brought you out of the land of Egypt. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord. Because God has heard your grumbling against the Lord. For what are we that you would grumble against us? And Moses said, When the Lord gives you in the evening meat to eat, and in the morning bread to the fill, to full, because the Lord has heard you grumbling, and that you grumble against the Lord, what are we? Your grumbling is not against us, but it is against the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, Say to the whole congregation of the people of Israel, Come near before the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling. Let me back up just a minute. They looked toward the wilderness and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. And the Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the people of Israel. Say to them, at twilight you shall eat meat. And in the morning you shall eat bread till you are full. May God's word offer you comfort and peace and hope today. I love the introduction of this section of scripture and God's people grumbled. This is a polite way of saying that God's people, who God had just rescued from slavery, were complaining about the manner in which God saved them. They were uncomfortable. They were scared. And they did not know what was coming next. They didn't know where they were going. And they wanted everyone to know it. And so they, complain, they were complaining and griping among themselves. They actually said it would be better if they had died at God's hand in Egypt or remained in slavery. However, they were not just doing it between themselves. God heard them. God heard the issues of God's people, even in the wilderness. Now let's take a look at that passage again. 
a little differently. God did not in invalidate their feelings. God was not arguing their feelings. God just answered their complaints, their concerns. They were hungry. The people needed meat and bread, and God provided. Does that sound familiar to our world today? People are concerned and afraid, complaining. They're struggling to live in peace with each other. They are struggling to even be civil and have civil conversation with each other. Yet even in the depths of this wilderness that we find ourselves in, God is present. God is listening, and God provides. I had a really terrible day this past week. It was wildly stressful. I had challenges coming from every single direction, and it felt like I was hit more than once as I tried to provide leadership, love, and care, and hope to all of those who needed each. The most unbelievable thing is that as I sat down to write not only my sermon, but this devotional that very day, God heard those challenges. God knew the pain of my heart, the hurt of my soul, the struggles I was going through, and God provided. God provided God's word for me in a new and profound way. God provided peace and comfort for me in the form of two church members who stopped by just to check on me and remind me that I am loved. God provided even in the midst of the deepest wilderness. I hope that you will, fo will also focus on what God is providing you, because I promise, no matter the circumstances of your wilderness, God is there, and God will provide. Have a blessed day and week, and I look forward to seeing you at Communion at the Curb on Sunday. I'll see you soon.